highlight uterine fibroids. Not life-threatening, don't generally require treatment. Medicines can stop heavy bleeding and reduce size of fibroids. Menstrual disorder or irregularities need to see a doctor. Severe pain or very heavy bleeding that needs emergency surgery. Anemia due to heavy bleeding. Infertility in some cases. Treatment depends on age, symptoms, size, location, type, health, etc. Treatment Watchful waiting, many women with uterine fibroids have no symptoms like vaginal bleeding, pelvic pain, fibroid not growing rapidly etc. need no treatment as fibroids often grow and shrink after. Menopause but in some women having uterine fibroids, with mild symptoms watchful waiting is the best option. Over-the-counter, OTC if there is mild to moderate pain or discomforts, and OTC medications help to relieve pain and discomfort caused by fibroids. Medicines like ibuprofen, acetaminophen can help. If taken during early pregnancy may cause miscarriage. Iron supplement, heavy bleeding may cause anemia. Iron supplement and iron-rich diet can help to prevent anemia. Birth control pills, low-dose birth control pills can help control menstrual bleeding. But they don't reduce fibroid size. These can be oral contraceptive pills, rings, injections, etc. Progestin-releasing intrauterine device, IUD and IUD device called Mirena contains progesterone can control heavy bleeding caused by fibroids. It only relieves symptoms, though. It doesn't shrink fibroids or make them go away. It also prevents pregnancy. Gondotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, agonists, these are used for shrinking fibroids. They are sometimes used to shrink fibroid before surgery. These medicines treat fibroids by not allowing body to make the hormones estrogen and progesterone and causes temporary and reversible menopause. It also allows women with anemia to recover to a normal blood count. GnRH can cause bone thinning, so their use is generally limited to 6 months or less. These medicines are temporary and once stopped fibroids can grow back. Tranexamic acid, this medicine can ease heavy menstrual periods in women with uterine fibroids. Taken it only on heavy bleeding days. Surgery, if there are fibroids with severe symptoms, surgery may be the best way to treat them. Here are the options. Myomectomy, removal of fibroids from the muscular wall of the uterus. It may be good choice for women who wish to have children. Women can become pregnant after myomectomy. It will not prevent new fibroids from growing. Women having large fibroids may not have benefit from this type of surgery. Myomectomy can be performed through hysteroscopy, laparotomy, and laparoscopy. The type of surgery that can be done depends on the type, size, and location of the fibroids. Hysteroscopy, fibroids growing inside the uterus can be removed by this procedure. A thin lighted, flexible tube is inserted through vagina and cervix into uterus. Laparoscopy, a long thin lighted tube with video. Camera is inserted into tiny incision near abdomen or belly. This helps to view the uterus and remove the fibroids. Laparotomy, in this procedure one large incision is done in abdomen and remove fibroids. There are other options if future pregnancy is not planned. Hysterectomy, this removes the uterus completely. This surgery is the only sure way to cure uterine fibroids. Hysterectomy is performed when women has heavy bleeding or large fibroids. 
This involves cutting into the abdomen to remove the uterus. If the fibroids are smaller, the doctor may be able to reach the uterus through the vagina instead of making a cut in the abdomen. In some cases, hysterectomy can be performed through the laparoscope. Endometrial ablation The lining of the uterus is removed to control very heavy bleeding. This can be done with laser. Wire loops, boiling water, electric current, microwaves, freezing, and other methods. This procedure usually is considered minor surgery. By this procedure, a woman will not be able to have children. There may be complications, but not common. Radiofrequency ablation, RFA this treatment uses. Microwave, RF, energy to treat uterine fibroids. It uses heat to destroy fibroid tissue without harming surrounding normal uterine tissue. Uterine fibroid embolization, UFE, or uterine artery embolization, UA, a small catheter in uterine artery is put and inject small particles called embolic agents. Cut off blood flow to fibroids causing them shrink. Studies suggest fibroids are not likely to grow back, but not all fibroids can be treated. As per studies, it might be possible to lower fibroid risk. Healthy lifestyle changes. Have a healthy weight. Regular exercise. Balanced diet. Plenty of fruits and vegetables. Some research suggests that birth control pills or long-acting progestin-only contraceptives may lower the risk of fibroids. Thank you for watching my video. For more videos kindly subscribe, like and share.